I felt it took me just after their referendum to actually hear from different sorts of people how the UK government is affecting them and how bad the situation is. Not being able to vote kind of felt like you weren't really a citizen, kind of like no one cared what you thought and it still feels like that because I still can't vote which is really really annoying because I'm politically engaged and um, I do politics almost every single day and I feel so strong about issues but I can't make any input and I can't make any change. In 2014 I was 12, 13. I looked into it and I actually did a few surveys and I got so much no and I thought maybe maybe I should just be no and maybe that's the choice. It took me till after the independence referendum to really feel so strong for a yes vote because at that age I felt like I could engage in politics. I joined the SNP on the 23rd of October 2015. In the next Scottish referendum, which I hope will come, I know I'll be able to vote because the SNP values my voice and that is a great form of empowerment for me and all the other 16 to 17 year olds across the country. In independence referendum 2014, the turnout was 75% for a 16 plus, so it's relatively low and with so much up for stakes, it's so important that we engage because it's been shown that the upper class, middle class vote more than the working class and party policy can steer towards the people they want to win their votes from. By not voting, we're not getting a whole view from everybody else. We can't moan if you don't vote. I think the barriers for people at that age is you have no one to really relate to. A lot of politicians are older. It can just sound like you're at school, like you're just being spoken at you and you don't feel included. Also barriers are uh, sources of information. You don't know what's reliable on social media, to be completely honest. Just understanding and knowing what the implications are because there are a lot of unanswered questions from both sides. What the Tories are right now is they're proposing themselves as to be the progressive right and what they really are is a new UK and what the Tories are proposing is a small closed UK. What Theresa May has said has just been all pretty dire. I think the Brexit vote is pretty sad for Scotland really. I feel like Scotland's just going to be more and more suppressed and um, we're not valued as an equal member. I think it's particularly depressing that uh, young people are losing out in, in great things. You know, the single market is a great mechanism for young people and you have such an uncertain future. I think the opportunity that we once felt was there is not there anymore and the horizons have definitely narrowed. Some of my friends are really, really nervous about the prospects for the future. They're thinking about um, how is this going to impact me? What's the benefits? What's the disadvantages? None of my friends were pro-Brexit. It has moved them to being more yes. And I think that's really important because they will be the next 16-year-old uh, category to vote in the next referendum. It's important that we start convincing them now because it's the next referendum will be vital for Scotland. It's about safeguarding Scotland now and not letting it go downhill with the UK. I think the most important thing to say to the older generation is it's our future, it's my future that's in your hands. I want to see myself in an inclusive Scotland, I want to see an inclusive world, I don't want to see a closed off UK. I'll be 16 in September and I'm voting yes.